Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, most recently, I believe it was just yesterday, I had a um, somebody on YouTube uh, ask me about uh, installing and uninstalling uh, Blender. And what he wanted to know is he had uh, 2.63 and he wanted to know if he could just install uh, whether he had to uninstall 2.63 to uh, uh, put on 2.64 well the answer is yes and no okay let's go ahead and talk about in, installing 2.63 well actually not installing it but uh, running uh, blender um, okay you can get blender at blender.org and I will uh, put uh, both these links that I'm about to discuss in the description okay uh, just go to blender.org and go to download and you have two options here you've got uh, the installer for Windows uh, Windows is what I'm using so uh, I'm not going to cover anything else but I would imagine it works uh, pretty similar um, I'm running a 64-bit, uh, so I can uh, run a 32-bit or a 64-bit, but if you're running a 32-bit, you do not have the option to run 64. So basically what I would do is uh, I would use uh, this link right here, uh, Windows 64-bit, and I would just uh, uh, download this zip file it's a little bit bigger it's 51 megabytes compared to the executable of 36 megabytes okay uh, also you have the option uh, right over here on this side of the screen the daily SVN snapshots uh, you can down uh, download the uh, blender from there and what that is, is uh, Blender with the latest updates and and everything, uh, but it, it may not be stable. Uh, I have I pretty often do that. Uh, download the daily builds, and uh, I haven't really had a problem with them. Okay, the uh, second option to download uh, if you want to uh, test out some uh, uh, other branches of blender is go to graphical.com or dot org excuse me and uh, download one of the uh, blender builds there uh, there's I don't I can't tell you what all the uh, different branches or builds uh, do uh, also uh, you can uh, find uh, GIMP there uh, Luxrender, Yafre, Inkscape, and uh, to find the Blender builds, you just go to this icon over here, click there, and then you can go uh, find your 32 bit or 64 bit. I would uh, be looking for 64 bit and click that icon, and then it will bring up the 64 bit builds. Okay so now after you've downloaded those uh, what I've done and you don't have to do this but I I've created a folder and I've just <clears throat> titled that blender let's go ahead and open that up and uh, you can unzip uh, your whatever build you have and uh, double click and open that build and then you can find the uh, executable application icon and uh, just send to desktop and that'll create a shortcut on the desktop and that's it right here and then just double click that and you're running blender so uh, let's just drag that icon to the trash can there and uh, now let's say a new release was coming out and you wanted to install it 
you could have left uh, that icon on the desktop and then uh, unzipped uh, your next build and and uh, create a second icon on your desktop and run uh, the new build or uh, a daily build or a uh, an experimental build uh, let's go ahead and add that uh, icon back to the desktop let me show you what I would do <clears throat> uh, you can just uh, right click on it rename it and name it blender stable or whatever for the latest relief and then the uh, release uh, then then the next icon you could uh, like if you've got uh, the blender dino topo uh, build you could uh, create another icon on your desktop and title that uh, dino topo also uh, another thing that I have done is I put a uh, another folder inside of my blender folder for blender themes and uh, also blender add-ons so basically uh, that's about it um, that'll help you keep uh, things organized and also allow you to run more than uh, one uh, version of blender on your desktop uh, I don't know about Mac or uh, Linux. I, I have used Linux before, but never Mac. Uh, but this is how you could do it on Windows. And by the way, this is Windows 8. I, I purchased Windows 8 yesterday, and I still have a lot uh, more of my 3D uh, applications to install on here. And so far, everything seems to be running great. Uh, but this is not about Windows 8 uh, anyway. Uh, I'm now going to uh, go ahead and record a video for installing uh, Blender add-ons. So have a great day and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.